we have Kaching, 90 to 90. Attack, pretty low. EM, we have an EM Sans. Right now, we're at 63% crit rate, which is actually like almost 80, 78% crit rate because she gets 15% for free. We're at 226 crit damage, not a, uh, almost no energy recharge, which is good. The artifacts need work. There's a couple key pieces that are definitely good. This will almost never get replaced. It's a very solid piece. Crit rate, crit damage, uh, EM. Could it be better? Yeah, it could be better, but this one is a very good piece for right now. I'm not a huge fan of her goblet, but it does have like quite a bit of crit rate and crit damage here. Um, this is like a 35 crit value. You essentially double the crit rate and then you get the crit damage. So it's like 35 crit value. This piece, pretty bad. I got an energy recharge roll. I got an HP roll. But we did get a couple crit damage. We, we rolled crit damage on and then we rolled it a couple times. It's not the worst thing ever, but it could be better. And then we got we got this piece here. Crit rate, crit damage, some e, uh, ER. I would love if this was EM or attack percentage instead. This piece, crit damage, crit rate. They're all kind of copium, but we'll make her work for right now. She's got the miss splitter, which is giving her a bunch of free stats, tons of base attack, crit damage. Can she be improved? Absolutely. Like I, I can make her like 10 times better, but she's still gonna work because one of the, the big strengths of Kaching is is actually not Kaching. The big strength of Kaching is actually this chick. <laughs> it's actually official. Uh, because Kaching applies so much Electro so rapidly, you can apply this rapidly, which gives you Electro damage. And when you use something like our boy Dendro MC or down the road Nahida and doing Aggravate, all these little hits from Kaching and all these little hits from Fischl will give you a nice burst of that Aggravate damage. So it's pretty awesome. The nice thing about Kaching is even though we don't have our talents upgraded, I've almost never leveled up anyone who uses these. So in the case of Kaching and in the case, of, I mean, we don't even have these, I can just like max her out. I don't even have to farm for Kaching. I can literally just keep going like this, level it all up, and just, I don't even have to really think about it. Um, I'm gonna have to get a couple of these, but even these, like I, I literally don't have to think about any of these um, resources. I can just max her out. She's already pre-farmed. This is really satisfying. So I got to trade in a few of these bad boys, but Kaching is like set. I'm gonna take her all the way up to nine and nine. I believe. I'm wondering if I might need to farm a few of these, but for the most part, I think we're we're Gucci. We just go like this. Boom. 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 Oh my god. We can we can trade in some of these books. We can trade in a few of these books. This is amazing. This is uh, this never happens. I feel like this almost never happens. We can just let's just do like the majority of these. Xing Cho, my boy, let's get lucky here. Sure. We got 11 books back, we'll take it, just in case we need them for someone else. I am so happy we could just, just keep on leveling. Boom, boom. Oh, sure, you want some of this? Yeah, oh, we need some more of these purple books? No problem, we could get purple books for days. Oh, these ones. 41? I don't mind if I do. Three more? Sure. If I'm not careful, I might just crown her. I might triple crown her. Yeah. I'm spending millions. I'm spending millions right now. Do another one. Uh, yeah. Can I do another one? Oh, we need a couple books. We've got them. Can we get this done? I wonder if we have enough here. We are at 11. Are you kidding me? Oh no. Are we gonna be one short? Oh no, man. Are we gonna be one short? Wait, it's Monday. We can do this. Oh, <laughs> you're not gonna stop me that easily. No, 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 no. We're getting that book. Trust me, I promise you, we are going to get it done. 999. Nine, nine. Hell yeah. Woohoo! All right, there's gonna be a lot of numbers flashing on the screen. I would love it if you guys tell me if I'm hitting hard because I, I don't know. Let me know. Seemed pretty good. I mean, it's just a domain. It seemed okay. Let's put this down. Let's go, I guess. Um, I feel like I'm hitting pretty hard. Like, considering the limited investment I have. I mean, she's got... Talents are up, but I don't know. All right, let's go fight this guy. Scatter. Spring forth. Nowhere to hide. Incoming. Wings of darkness. Come, seven. 
Stabilize. Like, she literally gets her burst back so fast. I feel like she's kind of good. Let's go fight this thing. I never fight this thing. I just want to see what kind of damage we're doing on this. By royal Wind, hear me. Here, spring forth. Don't blink. Nowhere to hide. Really? Yeah. Really? Hey, really? Hey! Hey! Uh, incoming. <sighs> Oops. That was, that, that's a bad rotation. Uh, that's a that's a bad rotation. That's that's a bad rotation. Oh, okay. Uh. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's it. I I feel like I could beat anything in the game with this. Like I just have a feeling that I could beat anything. Like it's enough damage that it, I have to be able to clear the abyss with this, right? I would think that I could clear the abyss with this. All right, everyone, come over here. Propagate, spring forth. Holy f Shadow Raven. Let me try. Scatter. Germinate. Don't blink. Nowhere to hide. It's over. This will do. I will have I don't know. She's, it's like there's so many numbers going on, I would need to play it in freaking slow motion. Midnight Phantasmagoria. This is gonna be a big hit. I feel like that's pretty good. I feel like it's good enough to the fact that I'm just happy that I've got some new units to use. I don't even care if she's as good as my Ayaka or anything like that. She's good enough that she's like kind of slapping. Did I get, did I get Sino at home with this Kaching? I've got a new five star that I haven't used since the launch of the game. That's the thing. I haven't used Kaching since pretty much the start and she was pretty bad back then. Do you know how refreshing it feels to play her and feel like, whoa, she's actually like good? Spring forth. Order guide you. It's awesome. This is like Solidified. doing pretty much as good damage as my Ayaka team did. No rest for the Speed of light. Ah, head to the chase. It's just it's just so like flashy. Incoming. Wings of darkness. Come. Sever. Gather. Spring forth. Don't blink. Hey. I love it. It's also, yeah, it's almost like a quick squat comp. You're right. Dude, she's awesome. She's so fun. There was an aggravated abyss blessing. Yeah, I know, but she was fun against the other bosses and felt strong against the other bosses. Oh, but you're saying to compare to, uh, compared to my Ayaka. Yes, true. Yes, that is true. I'm gonna go like this. Holy. There's just so many numbers. There's just so many numbers on the screen. Order guide you. Gather. Spring forth. Scatter. Don't blink. The sword comes shadow. Bro, it's so. It's so. Just like furious. Solidify. There's so many damage numbers going up. It's just so many damage numbers going up on the screen. I love it. I'm just curious how sick it would be if I had Nahida. Although then I wouldn't have a healer still, right? Or if I just replaced Dendro MC with Nahida, would that be better? I don't know. This shit is fun as hell. But right now, here's my review of Kaching. She's fast. She's furious. 
I've got a five star weapon, so that's probably skewing things. I could swap to a different weapon like this, throw some different artifacts in, maybe you would have some different results. Miss Splitter definitely cracked on her, you can tell just like the, all of the elemental bonus and it's really easy to proc all this and keep it up. But my artifacts aren't amazing. Like they, there's a couple good ones. This one, good. For sure. I could improve her a lot. Talents, definitely invested heavy into her. I feel like she's hitting really freaking hard with a scuffed artifact set compared to even my Diluc and, and different people that I've spent tons of time invested in. And I think a lot of that does come down from um, Dendro and Aggravate. And I can imagine she'd be even better with some different, like more Dendro application. Just constant Aggravate. Just constant Aggravate would be pretty cool. Fischl is also driving a ton of damage. Uh, if we remove Fischl, I don't know if it stands out as much, but honestly, I can't tell who's doing all the damage because there's so many freaking numbers going up on the screen. Right now though, I am enjoying her. And I think this would be, something like this would be my favorite comp with Jean as a healer or like Zhongli or something like that. I think she would be still pretty fun with like Ayato, like just throwing down water and, and doing that. Um, I think there would be some other comps that would be pretty fun. Maybe like Ayato and Kakomi, maybe even Kakomi. Might be sort of fun. I just can't believe how much better she feels. I, I think part of the reason why is back in the day, you know, we didn't have as many units. We didn't have Dendro. And one of the biggest annoying things for me was it felt like I needed to do so many charged attacks for everything to die that I was always out of stamina, but I also feel like I was knocking everything around. I feel like Kaching knocks things away always repeatedly but because i'm almost quick swapping through everything i'm switching my abilities so rapidly and i'm doing you know the dash in with her e i'm attacking a couple times and then i'm bursting and getting off i don't notice that as much i don't notice the stamina issues as much i don't notice the knock up bullshit i used to hate playing her because it was like i just want to attack you and i keep pushing you away while backstepping because when you when you do your charge attack right yeah. oh, i just hit a wall but you actually do a like a minor backstep and so you're knocking away and you're backstepping and it creates these weird little gaps that unless you use your E to close the gap, it can just feel a little weird. And for whatever reason, with the different units that I'm using and even just how quickly things are dying, I'm not noticing that annoyance almost anymore. It's just damage. It's just dying things. It's just furious and I like it. And I think Kaching, I'm not sure if you want to invest as heavy as I did, right? Like we we literally used all these books. I never used this talent book before and we just used like a hundred, hundreds of them going nine, nine, nine in one day. We used a ton of boss materials. We spent 5 million Mora, but at this point it's worth it. And because she is so fun, she's electro. I can use her as like an electro main DPS. I do want our Wolfie Papa. I think he looks really fun, but knowing how good she is, it's like, do I need him? Do I need him? I don't know. I would rather have a Dendro Archon, have another Dendro tool in the mix because maybe she's 10 times better than, than Electro MC. I, I think at this point, I don't want this guy almost at all. If I'm looking at the my account, the damage of my account, the value of my account, I think I want Nahida way, way, way more. And part of that is because of how good Kaching feels now. Uh, between Fischl, Kaching, Raiden Shogun, I've got some awesome Electro units that are very well invested and built. Like we've C6 Fischl, we've crowned Fischl, we've crowned our Raiden Shogun. We've got a pretty damn good artifact set, five star weapon. We got R5 here. Like, I don't know how badly I need another Electro DPS anymore. Everyone was saying, you know, back in the day that Kaching is one of the worst units. I don't know what the exact math, I don't know the exact numbers, but if she's the, she was the worst unit, she doesn't feel like the worst unit now. She feels very, very good. I feel like she's she's like gotta be from like the, the C or even D tier. She has to be approaching the S tier. Like right up there, Not maybe not SS tier with like Kazuha and like Ayaka, but like right below to the point where you can beat anything in the game with a well-built Kaching easily. Not, not, not squeak through easily in my opinion, especially with a, a decently built Dendro MC or, or, or another Dendro driver, it, it just feels like I'm crushing. Um, he's hitting hard because she's applying so much Electro. She's hitting hard because like, <laughs> I don't know. That's my review. Thank you so much for watching. I'm so happy she feels so powerful because I just invested quite a bit into her and she's only gonna get better. The next goal, if you guys are kind of curious is we are saving for Nahida. We're getting Nahida. I don't care what anyone says. Will we go for her weapon? Not sure about that. I, I, I really don't know about the weapon. I might just use Widsith on her or something like that. I like five-star weapons. Five-star weapons are cool. Um, but at the end of the day, we do have a Skyward Atlas, which 
I mean, we could use the Skyward Atlas if we really wanted to. We've got the Wid Sith, which is pretty sweet. We have Sacrificial Fragments at R5. Uh, we even have a Favonius if we need more energy for our team. I've got a few really, like, R5 cracked out of their mind four stars. And I just don't know if it's worth going for a weapon for Nahida at this time. I need to test it. But the other thing that I do want to do is I want to make sure that I want to make sure that she's cracked with artifacts. Now, if you guys didn't see, I did do a, a little bit of a talk about this. I've been relatively lucky with these Dendro sets. And I don't know exactly what's going to be best. I haven't looked at her kit fully. But like this is attack percentage, crit damage, crit rate, pretty solid piece. A Dendro piece, attack, crit damage, EM. It rolled defense. It sucks. Uh, it, you know, it sucks. But we have some usable pieces. Crit damage, crit rate, EM, ER. Like, this is a nice freaking piece already. And then, look at this stuff. Some attack, some energy recharge, crit rate. We can replace these. But look at this piece. Some ER piece. A bunch of EM. Uh, a EM piece with a bunch of crit stats. A crit stat with more crit and more EM. I think we're going to have a pretty awesome Nahida. If I farm this artifact set for the next little, you know, like let's say month before she gets here or three weeks before she gets here, all of these with some four-star... Cracked weapons, I think she's going to be right up there. There might even be some situations where, like, we can use Dendro MC on one team with some Electro units and Nahida on the other, and we can just fully swap to Dendro and Electro comps just to change it up, just to have some fun. Because I've been using Azuha, I've been using Melt and Vapes and Ganyu, I've been using all these units for so long, it might get to the point where I can have, like, fully Electro Abyss, fully Pyro Abyss, fully Cryo Abyss, I can solve any puzzle that they throw at me. And that feels so good. And I think that Nahida will be the final key. I believe that my account is almost done. When I say done, I mean I have every piece of the puzzle that I could possibly need. I've got Electro Rechargers. I've got boosters of EM and Elemental Mastery. I've got the Kazuhas. I've got the Ventis. I've got CC. I've got Shields. I honestly feel like Nahida will be the final piece. That at that point, I can get whoever I want, without even questioning it. And I mean, I kind of already do that. The game isn't hard. It's probably not going to ever have end game, but it's still in the back of my mind is like the meta and having all the best stuff. And I feel like with Nahida, that is is kind of the the end. Not not the, not the end. I'm sure there's going to be a pyro DPS. I don't have like Hu Tao or anything like that, right? I've got a D Luke as one of my main DPS drivers. We've got Shang Ling for sure. I think maybe Pyro is the next thing that I'd really want to like min-max, maybe the Pyro Archon or something like that. But for the most part, every other element, I'm pretty set and pretty happy and have pretty like min-max, like dull blade Ayaka, right? We've got the, the Hydro stuff on lock, the Shing Chos, we've got the Electro stuff. Like what else could I possibly need? It's getting to the point where when I get Nahida, here's the big thing, is when I get Nahida, we can maybe start doing some of the more meme units or, or niche units. Maybe I can get the Shenha. I would never consider getting her before. And I would never recommend a character like that unless you're a whale. But it's getting to the point where like, maybe I can get the Shenha. Maybe I could get the Arataki Idos. Maybe I could get the Eulas. Some of these different units that are a little bit more niche or a little bit specific because why the hell not? Maybe I want to for fun. Anyways, that's Pretty much it for me. Not too much more to say. I think uh, I think we're going to call it there. We're going to end it right there. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed. And I'll see you gamers soon. Bye-bye.